My name is Jesse Fleming, uh, and I play attacking mid at Chelsea. I was born in London, Ontario, in Canada. Pretty standard Canadian childhood, I guess. I played football, hockey, ran cross country, playing football with my siblings in the backyard, and was able to just enjoy my sports. What got me into playing football, my dad loved to play kind of just recreationally and obviously at a young age just enjoyed playing football with my friends and playing with my brother and his friends. So um, yeah, it definitely started out of that enjoyment piece and just wanting to go in the backyard and kick the ball around. My footballing heroes growing up were probably Xavi and Iniesta. Um, yeah, I watched a ton of Barcelona play, just I love their style of play. On the women's side, I loved watching Marta and some of the Brazilian players. Just watching what they could do on the ball was really special for me. Um, and then I would also say Kim Little. I loved watching her play as I got a bit older and um, yeah, I was definitely really inspired by her play. My experiences of the Super League last year and since I've been here, I guess the last two years, um, I think I've seen growth and development even since I've been here. Yeah, I think I've just seen more fans out to games, kind of more people in the general public having an awareness of the league and the standings. And um, yeah, I think players like Sam Kerr and Miedema and you know other big players in the league kind of becoming more well known and um, becoming more household names. And then also I think just the competition within the league, I think more teams are better and it's harder to win the league and, and do well in the league. Every game is a challenge and I think that'll only continue to be like that in the coming years. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd say. I think just all around it's, it's more competitive and more widely watched. A few standout moments in my career, I think with the national team, um, obviously we've had success at two consecutive Olympic tournaments. Um, yeah, I think in, in Tokyo winning gold, that was a huge moment for us. Coming and playing at Chelsea, scoring my first goal and having you know more of a foot in the attack last season, I would say um, it was definitely a memorable moment in my career. And yeah, just be a part of the success that Chelsea's had in the last two years has been really special. Yeah, so I've got uh, one of my shirts from last season, Chelsea home strip, I guess the classic colors. It's actually our Champions League shirt. It's got the emblem on the side. So yeah, I would have I would have worn it in a few Champions League games. I think I probably have two or three versions of this shirt. So yeah, it's definitely definitely been worn. I think maybe against Juventus. I mean, I think about my positive experiences playing in the women's game, and especially recently, I think getting to play in front of some big crowds. Even last year, watching what Barca was able to create and some of the crowds that they drew. And then this summer with the Euros, seeing record crowds. I think that's all, um, you know, even not participating in those games, but just watching and seeing what that has done for the women's game is, is really special. Even if we're not a part of it, I think we're all kind of on the same boat and we all want to see the women's game succeed, um, even if it's not necessarily awesome to pitch in that moment. I think that's really special and yeah, I think a lot of players in the women's game share that and are able to hopefully champion each other and kind of like, take our game to the next level. England's Euro victory legacy going forward, I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a, a big step kind of on the trajectory that the women's game was, was already on, um, but I think it, it drew a lot of attention to the quality of the game. I mean, you just look at the statistics around the crowds. I think that is so cool to see. And I'm sure there were so many young girls and boys in the stands who were inspired by players, not just from England, but from all the teams in that tournament. People are coming to respect and appreciate it. And so, like I said, I, I think the trajectory of the women's game has been positive over the last couple of years. And, and that was just a big step in the right direction. And, I think in this country especially, it's being championed and, and being invested in and yeah, I think it obviously helped that they were victorious and you know, they got the attention that they deserved and so hopefully that carries over into different countries and with different teams as well. In the next two or three years, I think for me, yeah, I think I would just like to see continued investment in the women's game and giving us the opportunity to play in front of bigger crowds and to kind of share similar resources and um, yeah, allow us to prepare in the same way that 
The men's teams do. You know, here we, we want it to be competitive. We want every game in the league to be tough. And I think when that happens and you have more players that are at the, the highest level, then it's only going to make us better and it's only going to take the game further. I think I'd just like to continue to see the, the level and quality rise. And I think just like the investment and the, the visibility.